welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth to Data Zero. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily gain passwords from anyone using Telnet. Now, Telnet is something that system administrators use um, to communicate and create a shell um, from one computer to another. Now, the more effective method would be using SSH, which is secure shell and that is encrypted. Everything transferred over a telnet is not encrypted so just like HTTP traffic you can grab passwords you can grab telnet passwords with a man in the middle attack or Wireshark. We will be using Wireshark and this is just going to be a quick and easy video so go ahead and fire up Wireshark which comes pre-installed on Kali. It's inside of your applications, or you can do a search for it with your search bar. Um, but right there's your Wireshark. Um, it's in sniffing and spoofing. Um, you would probably want to do ETH0, but I'm running on uh, WLAN um, because I'm using a wireless chipset right now. But if you're using ETH0, that's fine as well if you're using a wired connection um, in VirtualBox. So I'm just going to go ahead and start a simple capture. Now I'm on a test network, so not much will go on, but we'll still get quite a few lot of packets. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up another terminal and tell that into a machine, which I have on the network. So this is a metasploitable machine that I have on the network. And I'll just do an IF config just so you guys can see I'm in another machine and obviously seeing me log in all right so we're gonna go ahead and stop this capture now to easily display the packets because you can see we captured a lot of traffic in that short a little bit of amount of time and if there's a lot of computers you're gonna catch even more traffic you can simply use this filter type in telnet and press this arrow and now you can see all the telnet traffic now there's still quite a few that we have to look through but if we go ahead and hit follow TCP stream but by left clicking we can see that the password is MSF admin now the login seems to be skewed but you can obviously read that it says M S F admin as well. So you now have the login and the password for the uh, telnet. And you can actually see everything in clear text, like the if config command that I have sent out, and all of the information displayed to the screen. Um, so if it's in terminal, which it will be, you'll be able to see everything that the system administrator or anyone using Telnet is doing. So you can see that I clearly typed IF config and you can see the information I gained from that command. So if a system administrator was using this to administrate um, commands over their network and fix their computer, you would actually be able to see everything about it and everything they're doing like the computer was directly in front of you. And then of course you can clearly just uh, telnet into once you have the password you can telnet into their box quite easily so again we are back in our own box um, if we do an IF config we can see we're home of course you see we're in my terminal and then we can go back and do another telnet and we can just easily enter and gain access again. So hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Check out my other Wireshark videos, um, but it's basically a very easy uh, tool to use. You can just type things like um, HTTP 
and um, any um, HTTP um, traffic that's captured will be captured in clear text so you can grab HTTP, um, HTTP logins as well um, but this is how you capture Telnet um, so it's always a good program to run when you're doing a pen test just have it running in the background um, trying to capture credentials and other uh, useful information so hopefully you found the video informative if you did go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content and as always have fun stay safe keep hacking Peace out.